Hello guys, in the last video we explained how we remove a block from the page using the layout. So we have used the reference name and then remove true and display false. Today we will go deeper to see what's the difference between the remove and the display. We will go to vendor, so we will see the classes responsible for rendering pages with blocks and how remove is being processed and how displayed is being processed. If we go to the Magento and then we will go to the framework and then from the framework we need to go to the view and then in the view there is an object a class called layout. This layout is responsible for this is not totally responsible it uses classes as a composite but we will see how it is responsible for doing this during the process so what we're looking for this method generate elements generate elements will go through all of these and then the process happens in this method generator pool process and then it will add blocks to the output in the process you will go inside sorry not the profiler the process in this process we will see how this is all done we will go to this build structure from the view layout generator pool and then build structure if we go in the build structure so this is the class responsible for fetching all the elements in the layout xml files what are we interested in in these for each loops you will see there is a this move element we have seen it when we we rearranged blocks uh, using the move element and then the remove so this block or this method we are interested in if you look at the remove so this is during generating XML files and then generating the blocks the generate uh, uh, generate elements so this will generate blocks so after processing we add those blocks that is generated from the XML files and then initialize blocks and then add them to the output root containers so they will be rendered the before rendering this is will be added to the output root containers and then will be rendered there is a separate method that is responsible for rendering but they will be candidate for rendering and displaying on the page so at this point we only now interested in this the process and how all these gen uh, blocks are generated and initialized before they get put into the root containers as we said we are interested in this method the remove and then if you go inside a remove element then you will see there is element to remove and we will fetch it by the name the element name this element name has removed true in our case is this one reference block so if we just do this so reference block remove so we'll look for this element and then we'll see because it has the remove attribute in it now I will try to fetch them and and then it will remove them one by one the remove is done through the structure class it will use the unset element if you look at the unset element this is in the structure so which is a magento data structure just a, a data object and then it will just unset element which means it just a unset child it will just unset as a array method you see here this is what is used to so it's a it's very complicated uh, down down the line but basically it just these are an arrays and then it will unset them and remove them from the bigger array now this element is removed now if you use remove true then you will this is why we said we cannot do any further operation to it however if we use display yes we can we can do further operation to it so until this point all the elements with remove are removed from the array and all those blocks are removed and then they're not uninitialized and they are not candidate for rendering and they not, cannot be reused or brought back by code because at this point at this point they are gone they disappeared the only containers that is the only blocks that is added to the containers they 
are processed and when they are processed some of the blocks with remove attributes are totally removed from the DOM and then not accessible anymore however with the display we will look for once those elements are added in the output the one with the display equals false is already added here they are not removed but they are added to the output root containers now if we look at the method where it says render element in the render element if element has display false it will not be rendered so the content is set to empty string and this is why they are gone they're just empty string if this display so this is the method that is responsible for rendering it so if display element this returns true then get the element uh, data or html string and add it to this render element cache if not then just set it to empty string if we look at this display element you can see structure get attribute element name which is the name of the block in our case called customer new and get the display value and in our case is false so if it is false will return false but if equals empty string nothing in it if it is false it is null or if it is boolean return true and then if it is a string called false it will return it as false so whatever value you put there it will return it as true even you put false because this is not a string value it will look for string string value as false and this will be returning as false otherwise it will be returning as null in our case we have it false here then it will not pass this and then it will run in the return as empty element so to prove this we have this structure class that is responsible for returning the value if I am running this you will see the block is gone but if I try to bring it back through code so if I go to the remove example and then I look to have a block uh, sorry plugin run the Customer new or type again. And the request to get the request interface. Now click function. What I'm looking for is in the structure. I'm sorry, in the yeah, so if I go to the layout in this structure class, I need to plug in this method. This one will say after we get then the class name just copy it subject then we have result then we will have the parameters and return result but before returning a result i will see if the action name is on the customer account login if this request get full action name will customer login and then i will check for the element if element id equals customer new and the attribute we are passing in as display because remember what we're doing here well, we have something because remember what we have here is we're looking for the display attribute so this is what we're looking for so if i go to the login again so if it is inside customer account login which is this page and we have the element id equals customer new because this is remote and i want to get it through even if i set it to false here so if it is display the attribute and the element id is new and it's within the customer account login so i think that's it for our plugin i will need to create di.xml into di i will have type and the type name is structure class and i'll have a plugin for it and the name is render customer new and then the type is plugin we have created here here now if we flush cache flush config then layout and then block html now i would see this register customer or new customers will be brought back because we have a plugin we intercepted whatever being set on the layout xml file and then after it is set as false we reset it and then returned true in the in the plugin and here you go however if i set it to false remember we are returning a string not a not a uh, boolean value then it should go away if i switch it back to true 
then bring it back this is how the display works you can intercept it and then you can bring a displayed false elements into the page based on some conditions this is a generic one we only removed it from this action and then we brought it back without any requirements without any conditions but you can have specific cases that you initially want to remove a block but then based on some conditions you bring it back but you can use this uh, method the block Block to bring the uh, to bring the uh, removed or non-displayed block however this will not work or remove so because remove is not loaded if the blocks with remove element in it or attribute in it they are not loaded you cannot use it so if I use this remove and then if I can say go to the layout XML file do this then flush cache flush all the cache try again refresh is gone even though you intercept it because they remove the blocks with the remove they're not loaded they're not there you never see a block or element ID with customer new because it's being removed in the XML file and they are not loaded so this is the main differences between so if we bring it back here and then we have this as display these are the main differences between using remove and display in layout XML file so if we we refresh it again and we hopefully see the registered the new customer block so unlike the remove the display is more flexible and you can manipulate it and you can reuse it again in code but mm, remove is not that flexible so that's why i was saying that uh, display is the best to use uh, and better than remove i hope this is uh, helpful guys and i'll see you in the next video